Hi, I'm Matt from RKSB, and welcome to our video series on data mapping, where I cover all of the features of the XML map connector. This is the fourth video of the series, and I'll be talking about lookaheads, which are a special kind of conditional logic that you can use to pick out a specific value from a repeated set of input. In this video, I'm going to assume that you're familiar with the expression editor, which is discussed in the second video of this series. So, when do you use lookaheads? Well, many mapping projects involve repeated input structures, like multiple addresses, and often we only want to map values from one of them, like say the ship2 address. So we need to look into each address to see if it's the ship2 address before we start mapping values. We can accomplish this with a lookahead, so let's go ahead and see what that would look like. Okay, so in this example, I'm mapping EDI data to a database, and I want to map this shipping street element in my output with the address for the ship2 party. Well, I know that the address data is always going to be in one of these in one loop structures in my input, but I need to determine which of these has the ship2 address specifically. I also know that within these in one loops, the in101 element tells me which address we're talking about. So this BT code here indicates that it's the bill2 party while this second one here has an N101 of ST, so it's the ship2 party. So this second N1 loop has the value that I want, the shipping street address. But I don't always know that it'll be the second N1 loop. What I need here is a look ahead to check for this ST code value before I start mapping the actual address. So let's go ahead and implement a look ahead for this output element. So I'll start by simply mapping the value as usual, and then I'll worry about the look ahead later. In this case, the actual value, the street address, is going to come from this n3, n301 element. So that's what I'll drag and drop to create this value mapping. And now it's time for the lookahead conditional. Only grab that n301 if it's from the correct n1 loop, namely the ship2 n1 loop. To add the lookahead, we'll go ahead and open up the expression editor. So we can see the xpath in the expression editor, and we can see that this 2 in escape square brackets indicates that right now the address value is taken from the second in one loop. But like I said, we can't assume it's the second in one loop. We need to check for the ST code to know that we're grabbing the ship to address. So in these escape square brackets, instead of this 2, I'll set a look ahead conditional. I'll start by providing the X path to the value that I want to check, which in this case is in the in one in 101 element because that's what contains the code, either st or bt. Then I'll add an equals condition, and I'll specify that this n101 value should be, quote, st. So now we can think of the mapping as having two parts. There's this stuff outside of the escape square brackets, which is just a normal value mapping with xpath syntax. Then there's stuff inside this escape square brackets, which is ensuring that we're only mapping from the n1 loop, where n101 is equal to st. Now, in your own mappings, you might not already have these escaped square brackets. In this case, there's a 2 there. And you need to know where to add them if necessary. To do that, always think about which element you're trying to discriminate between. So in this case, we're discriminating between in one loop nodes, because different in one loops have different addresses. So this escaped square bracket syntax starts right after the in one loop. This syntax means look inside the in one loop to find the right one. And that's it for lookaheads. The key points to remember are 1. Use lookaheads to discriminate between repeated sets of input, like multiple addresses. 2. Start by simply mapping the value as usual. And 3. Open up the expression editor to add a lookahead condition within escape square brackets. Thanks for watching. And as always, you can find more resources and even a free trial of the application at rkesb.com.